Hey y'all, so we're gonna do another health update video today because I really didn't have all the information I wanted to have the last time that we talked. So if you're seeing my face for the first time, hi, my name's Nikki. I do videos on my channel just talking about my cancer journey um, because I was diagnosed, diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma this year in April and I've never experienced cancer before and it's not really something that runs in my family so I'm documenting my experience to help other people but also I talk about like self-improvement I think I'm gonna start going into that realm as I get through my cancer journey and also just being the best version of myself so if you're interested um, go ahead and like and subscribe but anyway let's get on with the video so the last time that we talked, I told you guys how my doctor was saying I was going to have to get an IV treatment, but really he just meant more chemo. He speaks to me in just like the actual drug names. And I don't know what all of these names are, especially if even if I'm like taking a pill, for example, and it has a longer name, if we haven't been talking about it, I don't know what you're talking about. So he actually had me do three rounds of chemo this week. So it was Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then next week on Monday or coming up uh, this Monday, he's going to have me do chemo again. And then they did not tell me that they wanted me to get chemo in January. So I'm going to be getting chemo on the second and apparently the third. This might be from my understanding, the last little spurt that we do before we do another PET scan to see where I'm at. Because if you saw my last video, I'm sorry, the, the previous, oh actually no, I'm right, I'm just confused, yeah. My last video, then you know that I went through my whole treatment plan that they had mapped out for me and I still have cancer and it's hard to to deal with and I'm just trying to do the best that I can and I really wasn't in the space to even absorb fully what he was telling me other than I was still gonna have to go through this but I will say so far the experience has been different um just as far as how they've been treating me since um finding out that it wasn't gone and also just as far as like how fast things are moving now, um, that's been a big difference. So this particular time, I have never gotten chemo back to back like this. Usually you get chemo um, every other week. So you'll get it like say Fridays, but every other week. So even if he just wanted me to do four more um rounds of chemo that would have been two cycles and that would have been probably about eight weeks of me having to go back and forth to the hospital so I do like that that part is being sped up but I will say physically it's a lot different and I know he changed the actual like medication that they're giving me when they give me chemo because originally I had a b v d and I honestly, I know they gave me paperwork about it, but I honestly don't know what exactly they're giving me this time. And I know he did tell me, but again, I'm not going to remember all of the, the names or everything. They gave you like a little packet essentially to go over like what it is and the side effects and all that good stuff. So I just haven't gotten to it. I feel like that's okay <laughs> because I've just been really tired. So I when I get into that I'll let you guys know like more so what it says and how they work I just haven't had a second to to sit down and look over it myself this particular time I'm not at the hospital as long either so on Monday I came in at 8 and I left about geez I think it might have been 1 30 ish but then the next day I think we were done at like 10 30 so the quantities of what they're giving me and the amount of time that I'm being given medication is different. Um, they gave me about four more different medications, like oral medications to take too. So that's not really 
a big deal. I just don't like how they taste and it's just because almost all of them have like a powder coating so even if you just stick it on your tongue and swallow it right away it still has a taste and it's gross and unfortunately I have to take like a, I know like of one I take uh, four tablets by mouth for like two weeks and then one week off something like that and then there's another one where I take three tablets each day but that one doesn't have the nasty coating it's just the the pill so that's been a lot to adjust to and then as far as how I physically felt like getting done with chemo I assumed it was gonna be the same way it had always been up until this point which was me being tired but like coming home taking a nap and then I can get on with my day for the most part how I usually would I don't know if it, it feels like it's more intense I guess so the first two days I was sick um Monday they started giving me chemo and I felt nauseous and I went home and I thought it, I could sleep it off and it never quite went away so I, I couldn't really eat like I never felt like I was gonna vomit but it didn't feel like I was gonna be able to like keep anything down that was the first two days and they had to give me more um anti-nausea medi medication so they gave me that so by the third day I was pretty good I was pretty good um but I was still kind of wary about eating <laughs> just anything but I was pretty much able to go back to eating however I normally have been and then other than that my energy level has just been a lot lower um I took my laptop in the first two days to work which was really hard and I didn't have to do it the whole day but it was just really exhausting for me but by Wednesday I was like I can't I can't do this so I didn't even bring my laptop I didn't even try that day but as far as that I think it's just because now my sessions are so close together and I'm sure what they're giving me might be stronger than what it was before since it didn't wipe out the chemo before so getting used to that is also like strange and unfortunately the last thing that is happening that is really annoying and I'm positive is going to go away but they told me randomly that chemotherapy can affect your vision and it was affecting my vision a little bit like at night and it would just kind of feel like astigmatism but like ever so slightly it was just with lights and I would see like a halo of fuzz around it but now if it gets dark it's so hard to see and it's it's such a big difference it's still like that but it's a lot more intense and I can tell even in the house like before I could really only tell if I was like outside or like driving or in a car but I can tell now when I'm in the house that my vision is a lot worse and it's not all the time and like I said I think it's just because they're giving me so much so fast now that anything that I was happening before is kind of turned up so that's been unfortunate that's been the most annoying thing that's been happening so far right now and I, I can't wait for that to stop <laughs> and thankfully I feel a little bit better like as far as emotionally just because I feel like I kind of needed to get I, I probably needed to cry a little bit and just feel for a minute because I was disappointed and I, I was trying not to be disappointed that chemo didn't clear it out because you know you're well aware that they could start a treatment plan with you and it might not work and that's just part of having it but even if you tell yourself that having to go through it is a lot like having to accept that okay I'm still I'm still sick and I still have to do all these things and take all these pills and even just um they had to give me a new Lasta which I'll add a picture but it's just like this little a little square a little box almost and you have to put it on your side and the needle comes out and it feels like you're getting popped with a rubber band and it hurts a little bit but it's not necessarily uncomfortable to wear 
I just like having to even just deal with that little change that I didn't want was a lot and I couldn't roll over I couldn't lay on my stomach and my dog was trying to cuddle with me and she was pushing the needle further into my stomach so I had to keep making her move and having to deal with how your treatment's affecting your day-to-day -day. like my my vision's great I actually got LASIK a couple of years ago so I know my vision's really good so I I know that it's from chemo you know that now that I can't really see very well at night specifically and now even in the house like my little field of vision is shrinking and I'm sure it'll go away but having to just deal with it every day is a lot so if you're going through this too I would encourage you to take some time to to just cry and get it out because it's so much and it doesn't feel like it is until it's happening to you in the moment and it's building it's one thing on top of another thing on top of another thing and just a bunch of little things you don't want to do but it adds up and it's exhausting and um you should you should be able to take time to experience that for yourself you know just however you need to but anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. I will hopefully have more information for you guys when I go back to see my doctor in the beginning of January. So I'm hoping that he'll probably want, or assuming, I'm assuming he'll probably want me to do another PET scan and then we'll have to wait and see what that looks like and I'll have to go back and talk to him. But we'll see how all of that goes. But anyway, um, if you liked my video, feel free to like my video. And as always, my GoFundMe is going to be linked in the description below. And I will see you guys next week. Bye!